MTV game changer. I mean, for radio, for, for rock and roll, um, visuals were always important, but now they were maybe more important than the audio. And so that changes everything. So prettier bands got hired than uglier bands. And then you have the reaction, like you mentioned, the grunge thing, where they just said, we're going to stare at our, shoe, our shoes and, and play loud, nasty guitars. If you don't like it, you can kiss off. So, um, yeah, crazy time. I loved it because I love all the flavors. Absolutely. Right. Well, yeah, I don't want to go back into episode three, but you weren't too crazy about disco, if I remember. Well, right. that's a personal issue. It, it <laughs> took away all, all my rooms went from hard rock to disco, and my band couldn't work. So I had a bit of a problem with spoon, spoon, spoon. Yeah, just a little. Yeah, you can find out more about the disco yep. era in episode three. So uh, as far as episode four goes, as we mentioned, <clears throat> as we mentioned, excuse me, that, uh, you know, that was the era of, of MTV coming along. And, and I think you mentioned in the series that, you know, beforehand, you know, people were saying, hey, did you did you uh, did you listen to Arthur last night? And now people were like, hey, did you see you on MTV last night? It became uh, it, I don't think video killed the radio star, but it definitely woke radio up a little bit. Didn't you? Don't oh, you? Absolutely. And that was the beginning of radio not being able to figure out how to coexist with that and then later internet and everything that was to come. Um, you know, Double-Edged Sword, these videos are a great way to promote the music that you were playing, you know, as another way to, to, to find new records to play without having to play a record that nobody heard of because MTV was doing so much of the work. But like I say, double-edged sword, people started to turn to them for music, not so much for us. And so, you know, the, like most businesses, when they are threatened, they, you know, they tighten things up and things got tighter and tighter in radio. And before you know it, you know, the, the rock stations were down to, you know, a handful of songs repeated over and over again. And then radio started to become less popular and they couldn't figure out why, Ron. They couldn't figure it out. <laughs>